Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Dark Orbit. I remember last time saying how I would reach level 12 before we start up another episode. But I, didn't, I didn't reach that episode, that um, level yet. But there's an event going on. Oh, and by the way, I decided to try out 3D in this. It looks pretty neat. And there's an event going on right now called Mask. And apparently there's these new beauty keys and stuff with new quests. Just a couple new quests. I will be trying out a few of them and seeing what we can get from the boxes. In the boxes, there's supposed to be stuff like LF4s and Havocs and Hercules, drone designs and lasers. I haven't gotten any so far on my main account, so let's see if we can have any luck in here. So let's see which one we can do quickly, real quick. <laughs> quickly, real quick, okay. Let's try one of these three. We need to destroy three of these guys. Okay. Oh, and I went ahead and got some of these uh, things. So we can boost up our shields and speed. Okay, we don't want the boss one, just the normal. Okay, that's good. <coughs> oh, there's also new boxes. These pr pinkish purple ones. Hmm, what can we get? Alright, I guess I'll fast forward to when I find one of those sibling things. Okay, I found two, three of them, okay. That took forever. Whenever I have a quest for them, you never seem to find them. If you don't have a quest for them, they're everywhere. Mm, don't take, okay, cool. This is going to take some time to uh, kill all three, so I'll just speed up. And remember to kite them. Just, just stick it right out of their range to where... And go back and forth. You just get straight, stay right out of their range to where they can't shoot you, but you manage to always shoot them. So I'll just speed it up. This guy should be dying very shortly now. Just one more rocket. Uh, not one more. Oh, okay, there we go. And we have acquired a mask booty key right here. So we have to find one of these boxes, which is... It looks like the normal booty box, except it's pink. And apparently they're supposed to be much rarer than uh, the green boxes. And it's supposed to have some better items in it, but but from my account, it didn't have anything. So let's see what we can get on this if we ever find one. First, let's go back to that mission area. <clears throat> I guess we'll just accept another quest and see if we can find any on the way. Let's see. 20. Okay, this one's a fairly easy one. It'll just take time to find them. Ooh, pretty ship. Let's just heal up here first. Regenerate the shields. I like how this 3D is. It's really cool. Oh, another thing, a person on the forum also pointed this out. To you'll get a little bit better quality if um, if you put the texture filtering on average or low. If you put on high. Everything is a little bit smoother, but you can see some of the details are gone. If you put on average, oops, okay, if you put on high, some of the details are gone. If you look very closely, 
if you switch to average some it's it sharpened up a little bit don't know if it's a bug or anything but that's what the guy pointed out so I'm doing that makes everything look a little bit sharper okay let's collect some of these boxes and then head on down Ooh, these are the guys we need to kill. Not him. Him. One down. Two down. <coughs> now we'll have to, I'll just, we have to go down to this, uh, what was it, X-2 map to find the uh, boss ones. Let's see if we can find any bosses here. Ooh, there's one right there. Oh, that didn't kill him. Okay. Ooh, another boss. Don't forget to collect all the boxes that you see. There are probably there are very little rewards, but they're very beneficial. <sighs> Let's see, where are they? Ooh, yes, another boss. We have to get ten of these guys. Christ. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's one, another one. Move, let me get that box. I hate it when pets do that. <laughs> oh, here's the pink box right here. Let's see if we can get out of it. It's going to be nothing good as usual. RSB, EMP, and so yeah, nothing, nothing good. Well, this uh, X6 ammo is very good. Just, it does six times your usual amount of damage, except the only thing is it has a little cooldown in between, in between shots, so you're supposed to use that in combination with the another laser ammo. Okay, those small lords are done. We need seven bosses. And here's one more, so six more now. Uh, where are they? They're just going to be strewn across the place. Just got to find them. Ah, here's one. Down it goes. Five more to go. Okay, there's the box here. We're gonna get a box from this, so let me note down the location. 9378. Let's see if I can remember that. In this general area. Okay. Oh, here's one. And another one. Is there any bosses in that st Nope. Oh, here's one. Down it goes. Ooh, two more. And here's one right here. OK, 
Okay, one more. We just need one more. Come on. Yes! Got the last one. And we have gotten another booty key. So let's go to that previous location, which I believe was 9378. So down here somewhere it should show up. Here it is. Let's see. What do we get? What trash shall we get? Skull drone design. Okay. Yeah, that's just a design. It just makes your drone look a little different. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, uh, this quest will take too long because it's boss devos. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that to the side. Also, I'll remember to always be looking at your Skylab. Make sure you got upgrades going on in there. And I did not collect those things. Make sure all of your uh, collectors and refiners are, uh, refineries are uh, upgrading. We need to get them to level 20 as soon as possible so you don't have to worry about it later on. Let me just sell what we got. And from a previous quest, there's this, um, some Skylab quest, we got this uh, trade drone. You can tr sell your stuff from anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and sell these. That way I can have another shipment ready to go. Oh, let me just make my tech factory real quick. And also while we were gone, one thing uh there were two things I got in the auction. One was the um what's it called? Uh the advanced jump CPU, which let you which lets you jump to anywhere on the map that you have access to, anywhere in a map that you have access to. Um, with using one of these jump credits and I just got one other speed generator uh, the maximum speed on this is like 540 or something that's when you're boosted it makes a big difference so you can run away and what, if we're ever bidding for things like irises I'll be I'll be logged I'll be making a video of it just just so you know that I'm not cheating or anything because I mean there is no cheats I don't know not that I know of at least so yeah that 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 part's done uh, let's go into the galaxy gate real quick, and I'll show you real quick. <coughs> I'm logging out so that way I can switch to the uh, Phoenix, and from the Phoenix you can. Um, there's like very very small amount of health in it, so when you're um, putting um, when you're when you're generate, I'll show you. I'll show you in the process after this thing logs out. Okay. So since it has a um, few hit points, it also has less. Uh, Nano hull, and inside the galaxy gate, you can you get nano hull from the um, generator, which is extra hit points that gets consumed when you get hit, when you get hit. So when you when you're, when you're already full on a ship that has full nano hull, you won't be getting any more from the gates. So that increases your chance of getting more of the galaxy gate parts, and those are the parts that we need. So far, we have collected 106 uh, spins, and we were building the Zeta gate. See if you can build this gate first, it'll help you a lot. And I and I do the hundred spins, I spin as much as I can until um, this gets to at least like 50% down, so about 50 out of 111. Mm, and that consumes all 100 of these. And we got it up to 33 parts, yeah. Long way to go. Okay, 34, yes. So now we need to keep collecting more. And try to avoid using your iridium in here. It's just don't try 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 not to use any of that in here. And now <coughs> which I forgot to do in the last episode, uh you might remember this thing called log discs, which will help you build up your skill tree. I pr I got enough points to get the next point last time, but I forgot to show you. So go to pilot sheet and then click on skill tree. Now I'm going to be um, doing the recommended way to build up your ship. So go ahead and exchange your points. If you have enough at least. Hey, I have enough for two points. That's awesome. <coughs> so now I have two research points. It shows you, and every time you get one point, the uh, next amount increases quite a bit. When you get more and more points, it's, it's going to take a long longer to get them. So now you can click on these. Now um, the path I recommend that you take is put one, both of your points in this, just like that. Put two points in this, 
one point into this, five, all five points into this, this increases how much shield you have up to a maximum of 25%. Very, very helpful. Then I believe you can jump straight onto here. Let me see. Two required in any of the following. Okay, put two into Bounty Hunter 1. As you're flying around, you might see people with lasers that are a lot thicker than yours. Basically, that just shows that theirs can do about 12% more damage in PvP. So go ahead and get those. After you max this one out, put your two points into uh, Bounty Hunter 1. After you put your two points in that, max out Ship Hull, ship hull 2. And I believe that increases your ship's health by a total of 50,000 hit points. So now we just put two points into Ship Hull 1. That increased it by 10,000. So instead of having 256,000 HP on our Goliath, we now have 266,000. It's not that much in PvP, but after you max out Ship Hull 3, or Ship Hull 2, the 50,000 extra hit points is very valuable. Then after that, I believe you should go for, yeah, go for this one, Shield Mechanics. It, uh, what it does is um, it makes your shields absorb a lot more damage than your, um, than your than initially did so and you'll when you max this out you'll get this graphics new graphics if you're in 2d where if a person shoots at you it um there's like you'll see like a little you know some sort of bubble will show up that shows that area got hit and it's like slow it's like showing it's slowing down the projectile or whatever it's really cool now after you max this out you should go for let me see Yes, you should uh, put three points into electro optics. That de that increases the chance that you will hit your lasers, and then put the next three that you get into bounty hunter two. Now this entire process will take a very long time. Hopefully not too long, but a very long. And if you ever want to buy all these, like with the the Eurydi iridium, try to at least wait on when they have um. What's it called? Discount days. And by discount days, you'll see a percentage symbol next to um, extras. And then, load. There might show a uh, percentage symbol on here. It'll range from like 10% to 20%, 25%. It shows up and it saves you a lot of the iridium and you can buy a bunch more of these. So far, we can buy only 196. That's probably good for another three maybe four more points but I'm not gonna spend it on spend it on any log discs yet let's see where is it drones I wanna buy uh, I guess two of the drone designs as soon as possible the first one I plan on going for is where is it moth this is the first one to get so that way when we jump into Zeta we can immediately kill those uh, NPCs quite quickly and then after we get uh, moth formation, we'll get go for heart. After once you get the heart formation, you no longer need the uh, default formation. It increases your shield by ten percent and hit points by twenty percent. Laser damage gets reduced by five percent. That's not that much. You can cancel that out with a damage dealing design. So it's very very helpful. So yeah, let's see. We already spun the gates. Um, let's go back into the Goliath. Ooh, let's also slap on that skull drone design, because why not? Let's see what time is it? Okay. I want to see if I can get go for a... Let me see. What's what's on the auction right now? So if you have... you And uh, they changed these two slots. C is cos cosmetic designs, and S is skill designs. This one's uh, cosmetic. Ooh, and it's a red skull. That's pretty cool. So I guess we'll just put it on here. Yeah, you you can only have one design. Like you can have both, but um, it I don't know. It's just, but I'm not a huge fan of cosmetics on this because it's I find it quite. It's a way to um, in individualize yourself, but yeah, they did. Eh, they kind of did a poor job at it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, we want to go for both of these. Oh, there's 10 minutes left. No one has gone for these, so I'm going to try going for both of these. What about weapons? Okay, someone built quite a bit on that. We we can't generate that many credits yet, so we'll skip the uh, LF3 for now. 
What about the drone? Iris. Okay, it's going pretty cheap now. Let's see if we can get the um let's see if we can get an iris by the end of this episode. That would be that would be pretty nifty. So let's jump in and start grinding some credits. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and bid on the iris. Thank you. Iris is one of the most important things. And then generators. Go for the speed generator. Let's bid a million. Because we want to make sure that we can get it. Getting credits should not be a problem by now. At least not too big of a problem. Because you got your Skylab running. You should have your Skylab running by now. And your um. And you should be strong enough to defeat some high level high level things. And let's put in some shields. Shields we must need it all, so five million will do. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yep, that's five million. Bit that. So we should have two million left over. Come on game, are you gonna start? No? Okay, thank you. Okay, now we go to my bids. Make sure we're winning all three. Okay, so I bid in millions. This is what's going to show up on my space map if it ever shows. Yep, there we go. Now I keep I keep an eye on my uh, credits. The moment this number increases by, let's say, about about the number that I bid on, that means someone has outbid me. So I'm going to try and go back and bid as soon as possible before uh, it before it um <coughs> ends. So I'm keep an eye on that. Hopefully I'll catch it because this is a new strategy I'm trying out. I have never done that last time. Oh, and here's the skull drone design. It has a red line on its own. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really cool. So yeah, let's keep killing stuff and getting money. Whoa, that's a lot of pink boxes. Gotta get them all. Stay out of my way. And remember, save your booty keys, the green booty keys, for either LF4 days or Zeus days so you have an increased chance of getting those kind of items those are what the ones you want to get for and also if you're going to be going solely for the uh, Apis and Zeus first then spend your keys only on Zeus days it's kinda weird but instead of using your keys on Apis day to get the Apis spend your keys on Zeus day to get the Apis because it has a higher chance of the Apis piece dropping then it's odd, but, you know, Dark Orbit, you know, what, what can we do? That's how the game is designed so far. Oh my god, this lag spite hurts. I need to... I'll, I'll, I'll switch back into 2D after this. I just wanted to give it a test run on this. Try recording with it on. It's pretty cool. But it's a bit too laggy. Stay away from the boss sibling, because that's going to be a pain in the bum. No, come back. Oh, let me see what uh, what other uh, quest we can do with them for the uh, mask booty keys. Keep an eye on the credits. Hasn't changed by a million yet. I bid at least a million on everything, so that means it should change by a million or more. Okay, what other quests can we do? Are you gonna pop up? No, move closer. Yeah. Okay. When you're in 3D, if you can notice on your minimap, there's these uh, little uh, corners here. That's basically what's shown on your screen. Since you're in 3D, they put it in a three-dimensional format, so you, sections will be cut off from your screen, I guess. Okay, event missions. What's What can we do rather quickly? Collection, that's boring. And uh, We'll skip that for now. Oh, that'll take ages. No, that's easy. What else is there? Okay, we'll go for this one first. This one for the uh, for another mask booty key. Oh, box. Collect them boxes. All right, I'll fast forward it until we find a Devalorium, whatever that is. Got one. Oh, and a boss one. Okay, switch to my damage mode. 
uh, and the two configurations you should run for NPCs is uh, have one side with all guns and then the other side all speed generators and shields on drones only for NPC I, if you can pull it off for PvP uh, it'll, it'll take some miracle because you won't last long with that you can deal a lot of damage but you won't be able to take much in return what my credits just de oh okay I bought a bunch of these rockets okay <laughs> I, w I was wondering why my credits decreased Ooh, we got all three Devaloriums right here. Let's see. Let's kill them quick. Collect these boxes. Ooh, that skull, the skull drone looks really good. Oh no, come back. Alright, one down, two more to go. Where'd the cargo box go? And collect your cargo so you can so you can get credits also a lot faster. Don't just jump don't just rely on the credits from NPCs. Go for the one in the sell your cargo too. Boxes everywhere. Also let's use the SAR rockets. They will give some shields back if I need them. I don't need to use them for now, but I may on the last one. Alright, it's about to die right about now. Oh yeah, we got another key. Oh, and we leveled up! Level 12, ladies and gents. Level 12. Ooh, that's the first time I've seen that. I have seen that level up symbol on 3D, and it looked cool. Hmm, level 12, okay. Uh, there's about a minute left in the auction, and so far we are still winning that, surprisingly. Oh, here's the key. Hello, my cat's here. If you, if you can hear that meow, that's my cat. And it froze. Uh, nothing good, just RSB, Xenomit, and some rockets. My bids, double check. We're winning so far, surprisingly. I'm surprised. There's another box, I can't, I don't have a key. Alright, so let's go check out that base. <clears throat> so since you have hit level 12, you have access to, I believe, the, uh-oh, we just got returned some credits, what did we lose on that? So let's add another 500,000 or 50,000 in there. Uh-oh, we're losing credits. Are we gonna win nothing? My bids. Yeah, wrong button. Let's see, Iris. We must get the Iris. Go for the Iris. Nine nine. Put random numbers. Uh oh. Dang, we didn't get anything. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh well. So yeah, that's what happens. Always watch the uh, auctions quite carefully. People will outbid you at the very, very last moment. Oh, did we get the? Did we actually get the speed generator? Yeah. Well, speed generator is the only thing we got. Uh, apart from that, we lost the uh, shield and the iris. Oh well, it was it was worth it. We got a speed generator, so we're gonna be a little bit faster. So let's go check out the space map or get up there. So normally you would have to fly all the way up there. But this is the magic of the advanced jump CPU. You have uh, your lower system maps, and then after you go through these inner PvP maps, there's an upper system, which is your main PvP map, and then all of these other maps. And if these red axes, that means you just can't jump to them because of their location, I assume. But and these locks, and with the experience symbol, you just need more experience points before you can jump up there. We should be able to jump up to here, but I don't know why. Let me jump up to 3-6. Actually, no, cancel that. If you ever need to cancel a jump, hit the configuration button. It'll cancel the jump, and then it should, it'll put you back into select a map mode. Earlier on, I noticed that uh, some enemies destroyed a base in 3-6. So I'm going to assume that there's still going to be enemies there. So I'm going to jump up to 3-7. Up to okay, get back on my speed mode. 
jump to 3-7 and hopefully we'll land in a spot that's close to the uh, portal we need to jump out into. My cat looks sleepy. Oh my god, it's far away. We need to go all the way down here. Alright, new territory. Hopefully that wasn't a glitch, was it? No, it wasn't. Oh, yeah, it was just a glitch. We can go into 3-8 now. Huh. Lock symbol now disappeared. Ooh, boxes. And pretty little crystal. Ooh, boss one. It's shiny. Those things are very, very painful to hit when they hit you. Especially when you're this weak. The best way you can defeat them is by shooting them and staying so far away that you can't even shoot your uh, normal rockets at them. You have to rely on your rockets and Hellstorm missiles if you have them. Oh wow, they look so shiny in 3D. <coughs> I really love how the portal is like this. That's pretty neat. You can fly around and through it. And spawn we have, ooh, dynamic. And finally, we are here in 3-8, quite a lovely place. Collect the boxes, and now there is a new NPC here that you will see. Before, they were they did not shoot you at all, and they were harmless and stuff, basically. But now they got a little uh, amp. They, their damage and health and stuff got a little amp. They can now shoot rockets at you and stuff, and basically what they are, yep, it's Sterners. New and advanced sterners. The only difference in their name is a capital R. There's the boss one. The boss one, I'll take care of, I'll show you after defeating one of these. Nothing special really, just, they just shoot you with the rockets and lasers and you shoot them back. <coughs> and they do quite, one, one alone will, won't do much to you, but in a pack like this, they will pack quite a punch. And they now drop uh, the exomet thing. Now for the boss, if you shoot the boss, like you're traveling in one direction, and then they are going to zap you. Am I shooting the boss? Yeah, I'm shooting the boss. They should zap you pretty soon. I don't know if there's a fixed point. Is he not going to zap me? Okay, yeah, there we go. They will zap you with this laser beam stuff where it'll make you travel in the opposite direction that you click and as soon as you destroy them they should um yeah the effect wears off as soon as you destroy them and this guy just uses kamikaze so let's take advantage of that and collect that cargo for money it's all about the money guys get that money before his pet does alright let's kill this last guy and the space and the space base up here nothing really new it's just that um, <coughs> it's it's a base up here. That's the only difference. I really like how when, I really like how when you go into a base or something, it it moves your screen like that. It's cool. Ooh, fluff of smoke. Let's go into our base. Oh, it doesn't move the screen anymore. Ooh, it's really cool. So sell the resources we got. That's a hefty amount of credits right there. Look at that. Okay, let's put on the uh, speed generator we just got. Here it is, speed generator. Right in here. So we'll have to take out one of the old ones. Put in a new one. And we now have... How much more speed? We're now at 504. Finally. And we can sell this one. So that's... Uh, Five generators done, ten more to go. That's going to take quite a bit of time. <laughs> yeah, I guess um, I guess that's everything for this episode. Finally level 12. I guess in the next episode I'll, I'll probably have another one or two more generators and a shield, one of the BO2s, this, the BO2 shield generators. And then hopefully we'll see if we can get an iris in that episode. So remember, um, focus importantly on running away, uh, um, flee, and then defense, and then offense. LF3s are going to be the last things to get. And as you get each LF3 cannon, it's gonna, you'll see your damage increase, increase, increase. It's going to be magnificent. 
So yeah, and then with the irises, we're gonna be capt- We're gonna get the iris on each episode. So there'll be eight episodes where we get the iris. So I guess that's it for uh, this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Kill Streak. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.